Do you have knee pain and not sure why or what you can do to get out of knee pain? Maybe you've been seeing the doctors throughout your life and you're just not getting any real results. Well, this is the video that you're definitely going to want to watch. I'm gonna be going over why we have these knee pains and why they're not going away. I will be going over what are the things that we can actually do, what are the movements, the exercises that will get us out of knee pain, and how can we take all of this information and implement it into a routine that's actually gonna um, be successful. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of the references that I've used along the way that have um, helped just educate myself of all the things that we're gonna be talking about today. I've been struggling with knee pain for a bit over 10 years now. When I was 16 years old, a 16 year old professional athlete, I actually tore my ACL, my MCL, my PCL, and both of my meniscuses, twice. Um, just a year later after getting that fixed, I actually ended up re-tearing everything. And then I did all the physical therapy, I went back to training, I went back to lifting, I went back to my life, and but the pain never went away. It eventually got to the point where I was needing cortisone shots just to manage my pain. Just to do the things that I was wanting to do, I was constantly just struggling with pain, getting the cortisone shots, and the pain was just getting worse with the more that I did. And then I ended up actually having another surgery, a microfracture surgery, where they take a drill and drill out tiny fractures all throughout your knee in hopes that it's gonna grow back better and stronger. But this just left me with more knee pain. And when I went to the doctor to tell them that my pain was not going away, he told me that I may live the rest of my life with knee pain. I may never walk again without pain, is what the doctor told me. And on that ride home, that's when I really decided to devote all of my time and energy to really figuring this out and proving him wrong of how can I get out of knee pain, not only for myself, but to learn many lessons along the way in hopes to help other people. And here I am today. And today, knee pain doesn't really affect me. I'm actually able to run, I'm able to jump, I'm able to play, I'm able to squat, I'm able to ride my bike and compete. Nothing um, really inhibits me with my knee anymore and I'm just super excited to share with you guys all the things that I've learned along the way that has helped me get out of knee pain. So it doesn't really matter if your knee pain came from a sports injury, a car accident, or it's just starting to slowly come up now. The principles of why our knees are hurting pretty much stay the same. And what I've learned along the way is it really comes down to a few different factors. One, our body is out of line and just out of balance, which pretty much means we have some muscles that are too tight and overactivated, pulling on muscles that are too weak and are not activating enough. This brings imbalances which just activate those nerve signals that tell us that, hey, something is hurting. Another thing is we have really tight hips. Our hips are turned off and they're really tight, which is making our knees having to compensate and overwork. And the next thing is we actually have really weak feet. Wearing shoes all day actually turns off our feet and it takes the jobs of our joints and ligaments. So all of that blunt impact is being right down to our knees because our feet are able to not only have a strong foundation and protect, but just keep our knees in that correct position. So now that we went over why pretty much all of our knee pains are coming about, the next thing is what? What can we actually do to get out of knee pain? And the first and most important thing I'm gonna tell you is to strengthen your glutes. Your glutes are actually the main muscle that support your knee and actually put our knees in the correct position, the most stable, strong position throughout the day. But so many of us, our glutes are actually not firing, they're not working, and they're not doing our job because our constant sitting for 13 to 16 hours a day. When we sit on couches or sit on chairs, our glutes actually turn off and our hips get really, really tight. And this makes our knees having to compensate. All of that extra pressure and work gets put all towards our knees. So being able to strengthen our glutes and to make sure that our glutes are firing and activating will instantly take so much pressure off of our knees. And there's three things that we can do to not only make sure that our glutes are firing properly, but they're nice and strong and they're strong enough to be able to protect and support our knees. The first things is glute pops. We have to learn just 
how to actually engage our glutes one at a time. Because most likely, if you cannot just sit here and flex one butt cheek at a time all by itself, that means that your glutes are probably not firing when you're unconsciously just moving throughout the day. So we want to make sure that first of all, our glutes can fire. So I recommend laying down on your back or you can even do it sitting in a chair or standing up really in any position, even brushing your teeth or washing the dishes or standing in line. Practice engaging one butt cheek out of time. One butt cheek at a time. I know it sounds a little bit silly, but it is probably one of the most important things in taking pressure off of our knee. So to really make sure that we're doing this properly and to get this down, if you've never done this before, is just to lay on your back and put your hands right under your butt cheek and set a timer for three minutes to five minutes or 20 to 30 reps and just practice putting all your focus on engaging one glute for about three seconds relaxing and then engage your other glute for about three seconds and then relaxing and this will just put your mind and body to be able to connect and make sure those glutes are able to fire so now that we got our glutes firing the next thing is to build strength because the stronger that our glutes are the less pressure is going to be on our knees what our glutes do is when we actually engage our glutes it brings our knees outward all I have to do is engage my glutes and my knees go outward. That's going to be the strongest, most stable position for our knees. But our glutes have to fire and they have to be nice and strong. So two great exercises that we can do to really target our glutes, not only target our glutes, but help relax all the muscles that are too tight. The first one is glute bridges. And there's many different variations of this exercise, which I highly recommend experimenting and trying with all of them. Well, just a regular glute bridge is just laying on your back, bringing your feet closer towards your hips and driving those hips up. And you could do it one leg at a time. You can do it with your knee or with your opposite knee straight up or with your leg pointed out to make it a little bit more challenging. But just start practicing with these. If you have knee pain, I highly recommend putting this exercise into every single one of your workouts, even every single one of your morning routines, just to wake up in the morning and to make sure that those glutes are firing and activated with a couple pops and a couple glute bridges will do one to make sure that your knee is just feeling better throughout the day because you're starting your day with your glutes making sure that they're activated. So the next exercise that is really really good to help really target and strengthen our glutes is called clamshells. Essentially all you have to do is just lay on your side, put your feet and heels together and you're raising one knee up while squeezing in your glute. And this is an amazing exercise to really target and get those glutes burning and activating. And you will feel almost instantly how much pressure this takes off your knee. Our body works as one moving whole piece, much like a chain as well. So if you're having problems in your knee, the first places you want to check out are your glutes and hips and actually your feet. So many of us have knee problems because our feet are just same thing. They're not activating and they're not working properly or doing their job. It's also our feet's job to make sure that we're nice and strong and we're gripping the ground. And the stronger our foundation is, the stronger that our feet are, the less that our knees will have to compensate and overwork. So first things first is being able to connect with your feet. Most likely, if you cannot wiggle your toes and wiggle every single one of your toes and separate them just with your um, focus, you're probably not going to be using your feet as efficiently and as effectively as you can throughout the day, which brings all of that compensation right towards your knee. And the main cause of this, much like how couches cause our glutes to not activate, shoes will actually turn off our feet completely. And the bigger the heel that you have, the more protection you have in your shoes, the less protection that your body will actually give you and learn how to do itself. So take your shoes off and just start practice um, connecting with your feet, learning how to wiggle your toes and separate your toes and squeeze and flex your feet will in turn just take so much pressure off your knee because you're strengthening and connecting with your foundation. A really great exercise to make sure that your feet 
are nice and strong is toe curls. Most likely, if you can just separate your toes as wide as you can and then squeeze them in almost to a fist, but with your feet, and if your foot cramps or if you don't have much movement in your feet, I promise you that is your first sign of your feet aren't really doing their job. So just practice that. Give yourself about five to 10 minutes and just open and then squeeze for about three to five seconds. Open and then squeeze for about three to five seconds. And this is a great exercise to engage those muscles on the bottom of our feet and making sure that they're able to grip the ground and protect our knee throughout the day. Another awesome exercise is just being able to grab a towel, set it on the ground, and just do regular toe curls where you're doing the same thing but you're curling the towel in between under your arch for about three to five seconds, letting it go, and you're doing it until the towel gets all the way under your foot. And this is going to make your feet burn, and that's exactly what you're looking for because that's what's gonna build the strength that you need. And the last thing that is really, really great for all knee pain, for strengthening your feet and strengthening your glutes, is any sort of balancing exercise. When you start to balance on one foot, think of the word balance you're automatically having to engage the muscles in your body that may be too weak or are underactivating, like your glutes and your feet, while you're being forced to relax the muscles that are too tight, like your quads and your hip flexors. So just to set a timer for a minute or two and try to balance on one leg as best as you can will really do amazing things for rebalancing your body. And like I said on the first part of this video, most of our pains are coming from these imbalances. So to practice our balance is to literally practice getting out of pain. So the next factor on what we can do to get out of knee pain is making sure our body is realigned and nice and balanced. So what are the things that are getting us out of balance or getting us out of line? And for the most part, it's going to be sitting on chairs or sitting on couches and shoes. So I highly recommend every single day spend time on the ground with your shoes off just connecting with your body. See you can see in this video I'm actually just sitting on the ground. Um, I try to sit on the ground as much as possible throughout the day and sit in chairs and couches as little as possible. Because like I said, when you're sitting in those chairs and couches, it literally just causes all of those imbalances that cause not only knee pain, but back pain, shoulder pain, pretty much all the pains in our body. Because it tightens up our sh um, shoulders, rounds our head and shoulders forward, uh, puts our lower back in the wrong position, it tightens up our quads, tightens up our hip flexors, our, our, our glutes and our hamstrings and feet just completely stop activating, our core is completely relaxed. Instead, when you're sitting on the ground, when you're just spending more time on the ground, your hips relax. And as I mentioned before, a huge part of why our knees hurt is because our hips are so tight. But when we're on the ground, I'm sure you'll notice if you just sit on the ground right now and you're not used to it, all of the tight muscles in your body will start screaming at you. And that's actually a good thing. Just stop and listen and breathe into what's tight and that'll help your body to relax all of those muscles that are too tight and that are pulling on the muscles that are too weak, which is causing your knee pain to begin with. So do as best as you can just getting on the ground. I set myself a timer for 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening to just, um, in the morning I like to activate all the muscles that I know have trouble activating while just getting that blood and oxygen going and then at the night time um, we all have these buildups of these tight muscles so I like to get on the ground and just breathe and stretch and release all of the tight buildups and um, tension points throughout the day that build up throughout the day. So after getting on the ground as much as you possibly can, the next best thing you wanna do for knee pain is actually squat sits. And I promise you, if you do have knee pain, squat sits can be extremely challenging and extremely uncomfortable. This right here is a squat sit, just like this. And this is actually a human being resting position. This is how we are naturally supposed to be resting, eating, going to the bathroom, talking, just hanging out, just like this. When we're actually sitting in this resting position, our whole lower body can rebalance and realign. Notice most of the people um, in the Asian countries or in 
the tribes that sit into this position, those are the ones who aren't struggling with knee pain because they're constantly getting that full range of motion. They're getting that blood and oxygen. And like I said, when you're in this position, our body can rebalance. Our body can recenter into the um, place that we need to. All of the tight muscles start screaming and we can breathe into them and start learning how to relax those tight muscles while engaging the muscles that will give our knee and body support. So what I did when I was struggling with my knee pain the most is I woke up every single morning and I just did this as best as I can for one minute. It's okay if you have to grab a door handle or a table to help you at first. When I first started, I could not get into this position, but I just set that timer for one minute and did the best I can. I started off just barely getting down. I'm all crooked, I'm all uncomfortable, and I would just did my best to breathe and relax into this position. And the more I did this, the better my whole lower body felt. When I was going to the gym and doing squats, it would take me about 30 to 40 minutes just to get my knees broken up loose enough to be able to exercise. When I first started doing the squat sit, that was one of the first things I noticed was after about two to three weeks of doing this every single day, I was waking up in the morning and my knees were fresher and more loose than they were after 40 minutes of warming up, getting ready to squat. So be into this position really as much as you can throughout the day. Instead of sitting on the couch, just get into a squat sit for a few seconds or for a minute. If you're standing in line and your feet are starting to bother you or your knees are getting sore, just work yourself back into that squat sit and that's gonna do amazing things for helping release that um, tight spots and the tension points that build up and just help you rebalance and realign yourself. So the last thing that's gonna help you realign and rebalance yourself to get rid of that knee pain is something called pelvic tilts. Like I said, most of our knee pain, or a lot of it, is caused by extremely tight hips. So to be able to move our hips throughout a full range of motion, completely anterior and completely posterior, that's gonna release so much tension inside our knees, and it's extremely, extremely powerful. And you could do pelvic tilts in almost any single position, from sitting, lying down on the back, um, standing, just being able to move your hips completely anterior and completely posterior will do a uh, will give your body um, a much easier time to be able to sit in the proper position that's going to help your body to be nice and stacked and those knees feeling really good throughout the day. So I highly recommend putting some sort of pelvic tilts into every single one of your morning and evening routines because that'll just instantly release your knee and help you to stay a lot more um, balanced and aligned throughout the day. All right, so now we know why we're having knee pain and what are some specific things that we can do to get out of knee pain, but the next is how. How to actually implement these things or other things into our routine to get out of knee pain. And I mentioned a few times before of a morning routine and an evening routine. I highly recommend every single morning before grabbing your phone, just get down on a mat, get down on the ground and breathe in and connect with your body. Because the more mindful you can be with your body, the less pain you're gonna be able to feel and the more you're going to be able to understand the language of your body. Our body is constantly speaking to us all day, but unfortunately, most of us don't understand the language, so we only hear it when our body's screaming in pain at us, and then we still don't know what it's saying, we just know that it's screaming and that it probably needs some attention. So, get into a morning and evening routine. I highly recommend in the mornings, focus on the things that'll activate the muscles like your feet and your glutes. And in the evening, focus on relaxing and releasing the tension points of, you know, like your hips and your quads and your hip flexors and even your feet. One of the most effective things that um, we do at nighttime is actually putting our fingers between our toes. And I try to do that every single night for about three to five minutes. And that just releases all of the tension and pressure that gets pulled down straight to the feet because our feet really get the worst of everything. All of the um, imbalances that we have and all the toxins that we take in, it all gets pulled down to our feet. So to spend time every single evening separating our toes, relaxing those, 
toes and just um, connecting with our feet will do amazing things to just letting our knees be nice and strong and healthy. A few other things that has helped me dramatically throughout this time of just getting out of knee pain. One is yoga. Yoga is absolutely an amazing practice to start because it puts our body through all of these different range of motions while connecting with our breath. And when we put our body through all the different range of motions, it has a much easier job setting and being in the correct place unconsciously, if that makes sense. So I highly recommend picking up a yoga practice that'll help you release and relax all those tight tension points and connecting and engaging all the muscles that um, tend to get missed throughout the day. One of my favorite is Yoga with Adrian. You can go to YouTube, just type in Yoga with Adrian for knee pain, and she actually has a bunch of videos there as well. Another thing is improving your nutrition. Our body is constantly working for us on repairing and regenerating cells and constantly working on even regenerating our knee. But if we're giving it, you know, bad toxic processed food, our body tends to use most of its resources to just digest the bad toxic processed food instead of regenerating and repairing our cells. So improve your nutrition. The more higher quality um, fruits and vegetables and just high quality food that you eat, the better that our body will be able to repair itself. So I highly recommend finding some organic food that is not sprayed with the chemicals because the chemicals actually um, limit the ability for us to get the medicine that's within the food. So try to, if you can, join a CSA or connect with your local farmer or really best case scenario is growing your own food. That's actually what got me starting my whole front yard and backyard food forest garden was when I was going through my knee pain and I had a hard time finding quality food that is actually going to help me heal. So I started growing my own food, I started a garden and um, it has truly been an amazing experience to not only help my body heal, but I've learned probably the biggest lessons in my life from just watching nature grow, evolve, and regenerate itself. Now the next thing is knowing your mindset. Now understand that the knee pain doesn't just automatically happen overnight, and it won't go away overnight. We're gonna have good days and we're gonna have bad days, but just connect and understand that every day is an opportunity to learn and get better. So if you have a bad day, those are just signals of stop and pay attention and listen to what your body is trying to tell you, and it's just an opportunity to learn and to get better. And you could use this extra insight that you're gaining by overcoming this challenge to help out the ones that you care about and you love the most. Because most likely we all have friends and family who are also struggling with knee pain and do it for them. If you don't do it for yourself, get out of knee pain for yourself so you can in turn help the people that you care about the most. So another thing that is really going to help you start getting stronger and stronger knees is just going barefoot more often. But this is a very slow and gradual process. If your feet are not working and they're not activating and you can't wiggle your toes, and been wearing shoes practically your whole life, I don't recommend taking your shoes off and just running around barefoot everywhere because it's probably gonna hurt. It takes time for your body to readjust and readapt. So take your time with this. Start by just uh, walking around your house and your yard barefoot. And that's what's going to slowly start turning those joints and ligaments and turning your feet back on. And then slowly just start increasing your time without shoes and you'll notice that your knees will start feeling stronger and stronger. But like I said, if you go too fast with this, your knees will start to hurt because you're just putting a lot of extra work on your knees that isn't really used to it. In the same way as if you haven't worked out in a gym for a long time and then you go to the gym and you lift a bunch of weights, everything is gonna be extremely sore. So you wanna do this very slow and very gradual and take your time with the barefoot. Another thing that has really helped me a lot is just Wim Hof method. The breathing exercise every single morning um, not only improved my awareness, that helped me with the mindfulness throughout the day to make sure that I'm aware and mindful of how I'm moving and using my body, but it just increases all of the oxygenation levels in your body. It raises your pH, which allows your body to just heal better. And on top of that, cold showers. Cold showers are extremely beneficial for 
all different areas of our health, but when it comes to blood flow and healing especially. We have more miles of veins throughout our body than we have roads on this planet. So when we jump into a cold shower, it literally wrings out all of the stagnant um, inflammation and toxins in our blood and replaces it with the good stuff. And it literally strengthens our vascular system. Cold water strengthens the whole system that transfers blood and nutrients throughout our whole body. So start playing with cold and start playing with the Wim Hof method and it's gonna do amazing things for having your knees feel better and stronger. Before I end this video, I want to give you guys some really awesome references that where I've learned the most beneficial information. When all the doctors seemed like they were failing me to where they were just making my situation worse, these were the references that the stuff I was learning for them were truly making a difference. The number one and most effective thing was the Move You course. Um, move, M-O-V-E, you.com. I actually bought this course and they teach you how to move and use your body and I'm not getting paid anything from this. I'm just telling you guys because this is an actual course that I bought and truly made the biggest difference. Mike and Andrew are some of the smartest people I've ever came across when it comes to getting us out of pain and rehabilitating and fixing our body. The next thing was Edo Portal. I highly recommend watching a documentary by London Real called Just Move about a guy from Israel named Edo Portal who is by far the smartest person I've ever came across when it comes to all movement in the body. He truly understands um, the way we move in our body on such a different, unique depth of a level, which I highly recommend watching that documentary. Two extremely smart doctors that I listen to a lot. One, Zach Bush. I highly recommend just looking at different interviews from Zach Bush and he talks so much about how we can heal and regenerate our body through different nutrition. Um, and it, by improving our soil as well. It teaches us so much about our gut microbiome and how our gut is related to our healing process and how so, um, so much of our food today actually is not giving us the nutrients that it's supposed to or that's needed for our body to heal. And he talks about how we can improve our soils and improve our nutrition to literally improve our health and allow our body to be able to communicate with itself um, so it can heal. So look up Zach Bush. He's one of the smartest, most revolutionary doctors that I've came across. Another awesome doctor is Dr. Joe Dispenza. When I was having my bad days and I felt like I was losing faith, he was somebody I had to just kept turning back to to um, remind me of the power that we have within to heal ourselves. So another person, just look up any interview from Dr. Joe Dispenza and he will give you some awesome insights on how we can truly heal. And the last one is actually my Happy Healthy Strong in Six Weeks. All of um, the things that I've used to truly help me get out of pain from the squat sits to the balancing to the glute bridges to all the different exercises in the morning and evening routines, I put them into a six week course and it's called Happy Healthy Strong that you can check out at thewillgrant.com. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you know anybody with knee pain, share this video with them. The stronger we can be as individuals, the stronger we will be as a species and as a planet. So the better that we can help out the ones around us getting out of pain because so much of our energy is bogged down by getting out of pain. Just to be able to um, get away from the pain, we have so much more time and energy and motivation to truly devote towards the things that really matter to us and the stronger we can be as individuals the stronger we can be as a species and the stronger we can be as a planet it's amazing what we can truly accomplish if we can just get out of pain and step into our true potential so thank you guys so much again check out my website at bwillgrant.com and i will see you guys